Hey folks, uh, this lesson is the sine and cosine ratio. So we did the tangent ratios in the last lesson, and this is just uh, sine and cosine without the applications. Part two will be with the applications. Okay, so it's real similar to uh, yesterday's lesson, except here we're going to get the hypotenuse involved. So how can we use the sine and cosine ratios and their inverses to solve calculations with right triangles? Okay. All right, so here we go. Sine and cosine ratio. A trigono uh, trigonomic uh, ratios are ratios of two sides of a right triangle. Okay, so remember from yesterday's lesson or the last lesson, the tangent of angle A, uh, written tan of A, is opposite leg over adjacent leg. So here's A right here. So go opposite is BC. Adjacent is AB. So the tangent is BC over AB. Okay. The sine of an angle, you guys, written SIN, the sine of an angle, sine of A, is the ratio of opposite leg over the hypotenuse, okay? So this is where, uh, here's the angle A, so opposite leg is still BC, but remember, this is the hypotenuse, the one that's opposite the right angle, so BC over the hypotenuse AC, okay? So the sine of A is BC over AC, okay? The cosine is the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse and we write cosine as COS so the adjacent leg is this AB over the hypotenuse okay so sine and cosine deals with um, uh, the hypotenuse the tangent does not use the hypotenuse so SOKATOA or SOKATOA or however you want to pronounce it S-O-H-C-A-H-T-O-A -A um, stands for the SOH means the sine of an angle is the opposite leg over the hypotenuse the cosine of an angle that would be C cosine of an angle that's this part is adjacent over hypotenuse adjacent over hypotenuse and then yesterday's lesson was the tangent the tangent is opposite over adjacent okay so SOKATOA or SOKATOA I pronounce it SOKATOA depends on your math teacher okay so the SOH CAH TOA stands for SOH sine is opposite over hypotenuse C a H cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse T O A tangent is opposite over adjacent okay some little uh, gimmick right here is this um, uh, some old hippie caught another hippie taking old apples okay so some old hippie caught another hippie taking old apples is one way to spell Sakatoa okay alright so here we go write the trig ratios of each acute angle as a fraction and, uh, and as a decimal rounded to the nearest thousands, okay? So there's S-O-H-C-A-H-T-O-A. Some old hippie caught another hippie taking old apples, okay? All right, here we go. So let's find the sine of D, the cosine of D, and the tangent of D. So here we go. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of D is going to be 8 over 15 okay and then um, the cosine of D is going to be cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse so it's going to be here's D so adjacent over hypotenuse and then the tangent is opposite over adjacent so the tangent of D is opposite over adjacent right there okay so there's the sine of D there's the cosine of D and the tangent of D now it said uh, write them as decimals so we're gonna round it to the nearest I gotta go back inside I got the leaf blower out there uh, we get uh, those decimals right there okay so let's find the sine of F cosine of F and the tangent of F okay so the sine of F is Okay, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so uh, opposite hypotenuse, 15 over 17, okay? And then uh, the cosine, i got to go inside, i got the leaf blower out there, is uh, the cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. I'm going to go inside and finish this. <laughs> My kids are working on projects, so you can hear the kids working in there, so that's all right. That's okay, that's all right. I got leaf blowers outside, and I got students inside, so it's quieter in here, so... <laughs> So adjacent over hypotenuse is going to be, here's F, so adjacent and hypotenuse right there. Okay, my students are working on a dollhouse project, so for, we're uh, in the middle of April right now. We're going to donate dollhouses to kindergarten classes. There's lots of geometry in dollhouses, so in, in building houses. Tangent of F is opposite over adjacent, so 15 over 18, okay? So there they are as a decimal, okay? Hopefully you guys know how to do that in the calculator, no problem. 
All right, so trig ratios for complementary angles, okay? So in the last section, we got these answers right there. So check this out. The sine of D is the same as the cosine of the other angle, the other acute angle. So here's D, here's F. The sine of this angle equals the cosine of this angle. And the sine of this angle equals the cosine of this angle. That's what this is saying right here, okay? So if D and F are the acute angles of a right triangle, then the sine of D is the cosine of F, and the cosine of D is the sine of F. Okay, see how these guys are equal? See how these guys are equal? And there are there they are the two acute angles in this right triangle right there, okay? Alright, so if if theta was our angle. Uh, in the measure of an acute angle, then the sine of theta is going to equal the cosine of its complement, which is 90 minus theta. And the cosine of that angle is going to be the sine of its complement. Okay, remember, these two angles are complementary angles right there. All right? Uh, so given that uh, the sine of uh, 38 is about 0.616, without using a calculator, write the cosine of the angle, uh, the complementary angle in terms of the sine of 38, and then find the cosine of the complementary of the angle. Okay, remember, the sine of an angle is the cosine of its complement, 90 minus that angle. So the sine of 38 is going to be the cosine of 90 minus 38, which is 52. And since the sine of 38 is 0 0.616, so is the cosine of 52. All right, so what can you conclude about the sine and cosine of 45? Well, the sine of 45 is the same as the cosine of its complement, which is also 45. So the sine of 45 equals the cosine of 45. Isn't that cool? All right, if you guys are in art class, that's going to be your assignment. Take care.